Methods of Preparation From Alcohols This is one of the most feasible methods of preparation as alcohols are quite readily available. There are many ways to prepare alkyl halides from alcohols. Let us see them one by one. The hydroxyl group of the alcohol can be replaced by halogens when it is reacted with halogen acids like hydrochloric acid. For alkyl chloride, dry hydrogen chloride gas is passed through the alcohol or a solution of alcohol is heated in concentrated hydrochloric acid. For preparing alkyl bromide, constant boiling with 48% solution of hydrogen bromide is done. Alkyl iodides may also be prepared by heating alcohols with sodium or potassium iodide in 95% phosphoric acid. The primary and secondary alcohols require a catalyst, ZnCl2, to react with HX. While the tertiary alcohols react directly on shaking as tertiary alcohol is more reactive than secondary, which is in turn more reactive than a primary alcohol. Even if PCL3 is used in place of halogen acids, the hydroxyl group of the alcohol is replaced by chlorine. Similar is the case with PCL5, that is, the hydroxyl group is replaced by chlorine. In the reaction of alcohol with phosphorus tribromide or triiodide, they are usually generated in the reaction mixture by the reaction of red phosphorus with bromine and iodine. As you can see, with thionyl chloride, the other two products are gases which can escape easily. Hence, this reaction is more commonly used for getting pure alkyl halides. These methods are not useful for preparing aryl halides. This is because of the partial double bond character of the bond between the carbon and oxygen in phenols. So, it is difficult to break as it is stronger than a single bond. Hydrocarbons By free radical halogenation When alkanes undergo free radical chlorination or bromination, they give a complex mixture of isomeric monohaloalkanes and polyhaloalkanes. Butane gives 1 chlorobutane and 2 chlorobutane. The mixture of haloalkanes obtained are very difficult to separate as pure compounds and consequently the yield is low. Electrophilic substitution. Let us understand the mechanism of this reaction. As the chlorine atom approaches the benzene ring, the delocalized electrons repel the shared electrons of the chlorine chlorine bond. So, the slightly positive chlorine acts as an electrophile, electron-loving. The presence of catalyst AlCl3 helps in the polarizing of the chlorine molecule. As seen, the slightly negative Cl is taken by AlCl3 to form AlCl4-. The hydrogen from benzene ring is removed by this ion to give HCl, and so the catalyst is regenerated and chlorobenzene is obtained. Fe or FeCl3 can also be used as a catalyst. The reaction will be as shown. The auto and para isomers are easily separated due to a vast difference in their melting and boiling points. An oxidizing agent is used for reactions with iodine as the reactions are reversible. For example, for toluene with iodine, nitric acid is used as an oxidizing agent to oxidize the HI formed. So, the reaction proceeds in the forward reaction. Fluorocompounds are not prepared by this method due to the highly reactive nature of fluorine. Alkenes Addition of hydrogen halides Alkyl halides can be prepared from alkenes by reaction with the corresponding hydrogen halide. Let us take the example of propene. With hydrogen iodide, it will give two products. One iodopropane, 
to iodopropane as shown. Recall the Markovnikov's rule studied in the previous grade. The rule stated that on addition of HX to an alkene, the H gets attached to the carbon atom with fewer alkyl substituents, and the I gets attached to the carbon with more alkyl substituents. Something like the rich get richer. So in this case, isopropyl iodide will be obtained in a greater quantity. Addition of halogens. Markovikov's rule states that when an unsymmetrical alkene reacts with a hydrogen halide to give an alkyl halide, the hydrogen adds to the carbon that has the greater number of hydrogen substituents and the halogen to the carbon having the fewer number of hydrogen substituents. Alkyl halides can also be prepared by the addition of halogens to alkenes. For example, addition of bromine and carbon tetrachloride results in the formation of 1,2-dibromoethane as shown. The vicinal dibromides so formed are colorless, so the disappearance of the reddish-brown color of bromine serves as an important test for the detection of the double bond in organic molecules.